Right, let's uh, look again at the completing the square method. And now we're going to move on to uh, so that the coefficient of x squared is no longer 1 um, and can be anything. So the full version then is ax squared plus bx plus c. And very often the question will have our favourite phrase. It'll say it wants you to do something in the form and it might look something like, um, I don't know, let's say a x plus h squared plus k. And people worry more about the fact that it says in the form than actually about the method itself. Please try always to understand that in the form is how it evolves. It comes out like that in the end. Try and learn the method and it, this bit takes care of itself. So we'll look at uh, two different examples here which have their own uh, problems. So we'll start off with um, the first one, then we call this my pink example. Um, now, the method that you've learnt so far assumes that this number is uh, 1, the coefficient of x squared. So, all right, it's 4 at the moment. I'll just divide everything by 4. So if I divide everything by 4, then I get x squared plus 2x. Now, the people that are worried about fractions always panic at this point. Um, divide by 4 just means put it over 4. Now, although I've divided by 4, the 4 is not going to disappear. It is there floating around somewhere, and it's actually here. So, in a sense, I've not divided by 4 overall, I have factorised. I've taken 4 out, even though 4 is not a factor of 3. And so it turns this into a fraction. So I'm going to still say divide by 4, even though it produces the 4 there, because this is what you actually do. Now, of course, if we uh, ignore the 4, we have the standard method. So we know how to deal with that. We halve the number of x's, and now there are two x's, so we halve that, which is 1. We square that 1, and we take it away again, together with the negative 3 quarters. Now we do some simplifying. Keep brushing up your fractions. Negative 1, take away 3 quarters, is negative 7 over 4. Now, now you can worry about the in the form. If you look at that carefully, the a appears in front of the squared bracket. At the moment, this 4 is in front of everything. I can get round that then by putting the 4 with this squared bracket, which is x plus 1 squared. I, have, I then have got to worry about this 7 over 4, but of course there's a 4 outside here. So 4 times 7 over 4 is 7, giving me negative 7. So it's now in the form. And of course, some people, they, they will say, but you haven't got it in the form because that says plus and you've got minus. But of course, I would say to them, well, it, it doesn't tell me anything about what h and k are. It just says in that form, k could be negative, which of course it is in, in this example here. So that's the first one. So let's now look at the second one. Why is this one different? Well, it isn't really. But it's the fact that it's written a different way round because the x squared term is negative. And very often you find that if the x squared term is negative, it is written at this end and not at the other end. In other words, we, we don't like this written as negative 2x squared uh, minus 4x plus 8. It's mathematicians have a thing about the way they write things down. And, and, and conventionally, we would tend to write it down like that. 
But of course, if you write it like that, the rules that we've just developed up here are going to be the same. And I'm going to be saying, well, I don't like that negative 2 there. I didn't like that 4 there. What did I do? I divided by 4. So let's divide this by negative 2. And so I'll put the negative 2 outside. So I get x squared. Negative 4 divided by negative 2 is plus 2x. 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4. Okay, it's easy, isn't it? And then I do the same thing with the completing the square, so that's x add 1 squared, take away 1, and negative 4 is still there, which becomes negative 2 outside, x plus 1 squared, negative 1 take away 4 is negative 5. And now we get rid of the outside bracket, so it's negative 2 x plus 1 squared, and then I've got negative 2 times negative 5, which is plus 10. And so I have now written this one in the form ax plus h squared plus k. And this time a is negative. And in fact, if we wanted it to look a bit nicer, we would actually write this one the other way around. So we'd actually write this as 10 take away twice x plus 1 squared. So those are the skills then that you need to ensure you master pretty quickly to cope with any quadratic function. So we've now completed the square for the general quadratic function. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.